guys and welcome to One Kitchen. I'm Julia. So today I am going to show you how to make a Christmas panna cotta with white chocolate. It is just going to be delicious. So let's get started. So what I will be using for my panna cotta is some heavy cream, some milk chocolate, season 2 vanilla powder, some sugar, some gelatine powder and then some red food coloring paste and then I have two glasses in here and I have just placed some sugar in two cups just to kind of tip them and what I'm going to do is to make two portions of panna cotta one I'm just going to leave white and the other one I'm going to add in some red food, food coloring paste in so I'm going to start up with my white panna cotta and I'm just going to pour in half of my cream into my pot here and then I'm just going to sprinkle my gelatine powder over. So I forgot to turn on my camera for that, but you can see it now. The cream is in there and the gelatine powder is just over the surface. And what I'm going to do now is just to let it set for about 5 minutes. So my mix is now ready to get over to my stove, turn off the heat, and then I'm going to add in my sugar and my vanilla seeds. Then I'm just going to keep stirring in it and don't let it boil and just stir it until the sugar and gelatin is dissolved. Then I'm going to take it off the heat and pour in my white chocolate and just stir in it until my white chocolate is dissolved. Then I'm going to pour it into the glasses so it gets that kind of a tip look in there. And when it is in there I am going to place it in the freezer for about two hours. And when there's about 10 minutes from those two hours being done, I am going to make my other panna cotta portion. And I'm not going to show you that because I have already showed you that. And when that is done, I'm going to add in some red food coloring paste and just stir in it until I have the red color that I want. And then I'm going to tip the glass over to the other side and then pour in my red panna cotta. And then I'm going to put it into my fridge for at least six to eight hours or overnight. And I'm going to have mine in there overnight. So I will see you all tomorrow. And my panna cotta turned out delicious. It is kind of vanilla different Christmas dessert. If you want to serve that on Christmas Eve, it is just delicious. And I hope you all want to give it a try. And if you want to give it a try, just go down in my description and you will find all the ingredients down there. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel here. And I hope to see you all again tomorrow. Bye!